this is Road Pickle Steve coming to you from the Hot Springs long-term visitor area uh, here in the very Southern California desert and I'm out here today because it's time to replace the fuel filter on my Onan generator Onan says about every 450 hours you need to replace that fuel filter and I'm currently at about 460 hours Okay, so there she is. There's the beast. You see, it's the RV QG 5500 EVAP. And this is basically the successor to the Marquee Gold uh, 5500. It's pretty much the same design, uses all the same parts. The fuel filter, if you can, just comes into focus, if I can get some better light on that. There's the part number. Hopefully that's focused. Um, yeah, interestingly, the part number is actually labeled on the fuel filter itself. Hard to see in this plastic, but you can basically crawl under the generator and you'll see it right up in there. Yep, so that's it right there. So, basically just um, take off the line right there, I'm trying to get this thing focused, one hand, I gotta get this clip off of here, pull the hose off and then you just unscrew with this, this just screws right out of this guy, this is your fuel pump over here. And uh, for filter, that's a 9 16th nut, by the way. Then, when, uh, obviously, this clip's not very scientific, so I went ahead and bought a little screw clamp to put on here instead. Um, I'm kind of concerned that when I take this guy off, that it'll compromise its uh, spring tensiveness, I guess, if that's the word. But um, it only costs a buck, these little screw clamps, and you can get them at an RV supply shop. The other thing to remember is when you take this hose off, you might expect some fuel to drip on you. So obviously you want to kind of reposition your body away from it and have some paper towels handy. All right, we'll get started on it. Okay, so we got the fuel filter out and sure enough I pulled that hose off and it just drained fuel all over me and uh, then when I screwed the filter out of here more fuel drained right out onto me so um, definitely want to have plenty of paper towels on hand um, so now we just screw the new one back in all right all right Got the new filter on there. It just screwed right in. There's my new um, screw clamp that I put on there. Um, definitely think it's a lot more technologically advanced than your basic spring tension wire. Easier to pull off too. Um, and they're not very expensive, only a buck. Well, we got ourselves all connected up. Let's go ahead and fire up the gen set and see how she does. Okay. Let's go ahead and prime this guy. So you can hear the fuel pump working away. Here we go. So that was it. It's a pretty easy job. Um, pretty much a do-it-yourselfer. You don't have to take it into a service center, spend a fortune on getting a fuel filter replaced. One last thing I wanted to add is that when you buy your fuel filter, I'd say just go ahead and buy yourself a fuel pump too. 
Um, and the reason why is because uh, what I've found from other RVers is that the fuel pumps on these particular models tend to go out about every 400 hours to 450 hours. And since you're already having to replace the filter every 450 hours, just go ahead and get yourself that fuel pump because uh, you never know when that fuel pump is just going to decide to quit. And it's a good thing to have that fuel pump on hand so that you don't end up having to look for an RV supply store and uh, finding out that they don't actually have your pump on stock and you're gonna have to wait a week to get a new one. So it's probably a good thing to do and um, that's it. So over and out, this is Road Pickle Steve and we'll catch you next time.